My name is uh, Antoine Vincent. I'm from Chateau Fuissé. I'm representing the fifth generation of winemaker at Chateau Fuissé. Chateau Fuissé is a family property located in the village of Fuissé, the art of the Puy Fuissé appellation. My family has always been very involved into the, this appellation, and my great grandfather uh, was the founder of the S appellation in the 1920s. So that's to say that the Vincents are very close to this uh, very nice appellation from southern Burgundy. Chateau Fuissé is one of the major estates in, uh, in the Puy Fuissé appellation and in southern Burgundy, since it represents about uh, 80 acres in total and uh, mainly producing, of course, the, the Puy Fuissé appellation. So what we have at Chateau Fuissé, the characteristic is that uh, we have different plots. Maybe uh, we are one of the estates that has um, the most scattered vineyard uh, in Burgundy. Uh, in southern Burgundy, we have more than 150 different plots. So, the, of course, we are not vinifying each plot individually, but we have some uh, monopoles that we vinify separately. So we have three of these. So we have Les Combettes, Le Clos, and Les Brûlés. Les Combettes is located in a very cool area of Fuissé itself. It's a very specific soil that we have in this area since we have a very poor soil, mainly in limestone, so that we have plates of limestone in for this uh, area. So that's why the characteristic of this cuvee is the definition of minerality. And that's why we don't use too much oak for this cuvee because this plot in particular catches the, the oaky flavor very fast. So that's a very delicate plot and we, we focus on the minerality and the finesse of the terroir. So this plot is exposed east, northeast. So that's to say, we, we, as I mentioned, we have a cool weather and you see that we have a forest uh, in the north. So that means that we have difference of uh, temperature in between night and day and so on, which is very interesting for, for the maturation of the grape itself. So if we move back to, to the east coast, what we call, call uh, La Côte de Fuissé, we, we find uh, Le Clos. So Le Clos is mainly is maybe the, the most important plot of Chateau Fuissé because it's the historical plot of the chateau. So a Clos means a property, a property surrounded by stony walls. So all around uh, Le Clos, you will find stony walls and uh, you have the Chateau Fuissé just at the bottom of uh, this plot. It's a two hectare and a half plot, which means about uh, five, six acres. And uh, this is where we find the eldest uh, vines of the chateau. So they, these were planted by my grandfather in the 1920s. And they are still producing for the Le Clos and for the Vieille Vigne Cuvée. The characteristic of this plot is that it's Middle uh, East exposed. So we, you find the classical uh, soils of Burgundy, that's to say, Marne at the bottom, clay and limestone in the middle coast, and limestone at the top of the hill. So you, it's a very interesting uh, plot for the variety of its soils, which gives a nice complexity to the, to the wine. So you both have maturity, roundness, powerful, but also minerality from the, from the top of the, of the hill. Then moving back to Les Brûlés, which is only located 30 meters far from Le Clos, but it's facing uh, south Le Clos. The characteristic of this plot is the, the, the marne and the, the clay power of its soils, so, and of course its exposure. So Les Brûlés means burnt, burnt like uh, creme brûlée, of course, because of, of its exposure. So you always gain a very nice maturity for this uh, specific cuvee. It's a monopole of the chateau as well. It's a small plot, it's less than one, one hectare. But uh, since this cuvee is very powerful, we can afford to use 100% new oak for this cuvee because the, the, the soil itself is over the, the power of the, of the oak. 